Hi guys, my name's Paul Boyne and I'm going to tell you why I think Speedway is failing. Just a quick disclaimer, this is not a pop at the current uh, Speedway organisation or anything like that. Um, this isn't uh, right or wrong, this is just my personal view on what I think is wrong with Speedway. I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time and now I feel like I've got some time. I'm just going to share with you why I think Speedway is failing. For those guys that don't know me, I'm Paul Bowen. I currently race in the National League development for Bellevue. I have done uh, for a few years now. I've been into Speedway as a rider for quite some time. I'm a fan as well, as well as a rider. And I'm also um, a businessman. I have a successful business with my dad, which we've been running for quite some time now, and we really elevated it. So I think I personally have a good outlook as a fan, a rider, and a businessman on why I think Speedway is failing. The main reason why Speedway is failing is structure. Okay, sorry about my writing in this quick disclaimer, my spelling and the board. It's, it is just propped up against some putylene boxes. Okay, so we're going to have to start from the start with Speedway. Okay, when you first start out as a rider, you start out at 0% skill. As you go along, you go all the way to 100% skill. Let's call this 100% skill Thai. We all love Thai, he's 100% man. Okay, so this is the skill line. Okay, somewhere I'm probably down here. Okay, so in the skill line, if we say halfway, it's 50%. In between, we've got 75%. And we've got 25%. Okay, so th that's the skill level of riders as we go up. Okay, and then what have we got in our skill riders? We have got our leagues, funny enough. Okay, so in the top, we've got the Prem. Okay, and then we've got the Championship. Okay, and then we've got the National League. And then we've got the... MDL second half or whatever you want to call it really and then at the very top okay we've got the GPs brilliant we've got a nice little structure going on okay what do we need with that structure well we need a price okay so for the zero percent it's free to go and watch some amateur meetings okay I don't know for an MDL it might be a fiver going up to National League you're looking at around 12 pounds Going to Championship, we're looking at 18. Going to Premiership, we're looking at 25. And then GPs, I don't know, 40, let's say. I'm struggling to reach across there. Okay, so we've got our lovely price points here now. So brilliant, it's taking shape so far. What do we also need between the money and the riders? Well, we need a crowd. So if we go along here with the crowd, this line could have done with being straighter, there we go. Let's that off there, let's make it look a little bit better. Okay, so we've got the crowd, so let's say, I don't know, bottom being a thousand people, all the way up to the top, I don't know, a hundred thousand people, I hope it's a lot more. And as we go up, through the leagues, the crowd gets higher and higher, up to the GPs, where it's the highest Wembley, St uh, Cardiff Stadium, absolutely jam-packed. Lovely now, isn't it? We've got a good skill, range we've got our leagues to go with our skill we've got our pricing structure to go with our skill and we've got the crowd going up looking at this top level okay so brilliant now in the teams what have we got we've got our one to seven okay i'm going to do it in reverse okay the mdl i think is like four three two one and um, the national league will so we'll go seven six five four three two one okay this is in, in in your skill by the way uh quick side note this is how the speedway team should be none of this one to five too confusing for new people but that's another subject okay so again seven six seven six and you did a seven there five four three two one seven six five four three two one okay so brilliant we've got our teams our structure this is brilliant for riders, for crowds, for the league. 
brilliant. This is where it is going wrong. And it's right in between these top tiers. I know riders are gonna hate me for what I'm about to say, but this is the major problem. What you're getting is the top two of the Premiership coming over and riding in the top two of the Championship. What are you doing? You are getting rid of the value in that crowd there. Why as a crowd member would you pay £25 when you can in fact pay £18 and watch the same rider? Then not only that, it's a knock on effect. These riders think, hang on, why am I not doubling my money? I also want to come and race in that thing. And again, we get rid of more crowd. And you can already see the top of the fan base is lifting more towards the championship. Making the premiership not value for money and also less value than the championship. The also other problem it presents now is that if you're a National League, top of the National League rider on say 50% skill level, you are now trying to race somebody who is potentially on 95% skill making a difference of 45% rather than the original 25%. What does that do? It gets rid of that many mounted speedway riders. They can no longer progress up the funnel and begin to quit. What happens then? You then go from 50% to 40%. And that gap becomes harder and harder and harder, which is why you'll be seeing the top ones and twos of the National League struggling to literally go that much more. Okay, and again, the fan base goes down and down till eventually the fan base is no longer, the crowds are down, and we're bust. This is my personal opinion on why I think Speedway is failing. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this, whether you think I'm right, wrong, what the Speedway could do to improve itself, and how we can move on from what I think is a massive problem. Cheers, guys.